Okay, hello everyone. It's uh, nice to see you and nice to meet you. Let me introduce uh, myself and my uh, colleague and friend Vlad. So we are uh, developing internal uh, data arts alternative platform and I am uh, from the technical side and uh, Vlad is leading it from product and sales side. And uh, I'm working as a data scientist for almost three years in data art and uh, we'll be happy to share uh, the, our thoughts on topic, how to boost data science routine with uh, data arts alternative platform. So I will take the word uh, to Vlad to introduce himself and uh, continue to the topic. So Vlad. Thank you, Dima. Uh, as it was mentioned, I'm leading uh, the AI projects in the domain of finance and data art. And together, Dima and I, we developed an AutoML platform to boost the work of data scientists and the data science and machine learning tasks in organizations of different level. Uh, so maybe let's go straight to business, right? Our faces, that's great. And the AI Center of Excellence, uh, that's our structure that helps companies to uh, implement their AI ML projects in different industries and with different technologies like NLP, computer vision, uh, data science, predictive maintenance, uh, time series analysis, and lots of others. Uh, we do consulting from very scratch. If companies have not used anything of data science or ML, or they are very experienced in that fields, we can help in both situations. We can help you identify the needs and the approaches and make them real efficient and working for you. So that's the overview of who we are, what we do. Now let's get straight to our uh, solution, our OTML platform that we want to present you today. Uh, we've been working on it for a while. We have presented it last year on IT Nonstop Conference. This year, it's even more interesting and more special. Uh, so how it started? We had the client that challenged us with the Kaggle competition, uh, very challenging one, and we tried a lot of approaches, and then we realized that we can do automation for feature engineering. And it brought us to top 3% uh, of the team uh, with pure automation, just from data sets to the prediction results. Uh, we even got hired there. I guess it was top 40 uh, teams in the list, but that required additional work of data scientists uh, who did the so-called domain-driven, domain knowledge-driven feature engineering. And we thought, okay, if it worked that way in this challenge for this client, how we can scale it? And that's how our OTML platform was created. So let's to move to the next one. Uh, on this screen, you can see our uh, key ideas of the platform. Uh, our platform, it boosts the discovery process and it's clear for technical and non-technical people what we really uh, want to achieve and what we are achieving uh, to make data science and machine learning available for business, not sophisticated, not uh, obscure, but clear and available. Uh, we automate repeatable tasks over uh, multiple projects, across multiple projects with data science and machine learning. We help keeping track of experiments and data sets. Uh, we increase the speed and accuracy of experimentation and we find this crucial as any company that wants to get good results uh, get wants to get competitive advantages uh, because of ML and thinking to ML, they need to experiment a lot. They need to take their data, need to try different approaches, different model. All, all it requires time and it requires consistency and tracking. So that's what we provide. Uh, and of course, once the best ideas are identified, they need to be integrated to production. Uh, so. The bottom line is the platform uh, helps us and our clients, our clients and us to move quicker from assumptions to real, real results for business. So as you can see on this drawing, we have to combine three 
big things, business, technology, and routine that is required to achieve excellent results in data science and machine learning. Let's move to the next one, please. Okay, uh, so I already mentioned this boost of the time for uh, machine learning experiments. And here on this diagram, uh, you can see uh, the traditional ML pipeline that was used before implementing the platform and the data arts auto ML platform pipeline. Uh, for those who attended our speech last year, this, this picture may uh, look familiar. So I'll very, very briefly describe what's here. So there are major things that needs to be done when you're moving from your data and idea to real working solution in ML. Uh, you need to prepare data sets, you need to do feature engineering, you need to run baseline models, you need to run different models, validate them, and then optimize the best one. So usually it takes from 10 to 15 days uh, for, let's say, an idea. But with our platform, you can move much quicker. Uh, like you can have the working prototype in one to two days, and you can use your relational data sets because we see from our clients that all the data sets that they have in their data warehouse databases they are multi-relational multi-entity data sets that are somehow related so it can be clients orders uh calls to support previous orders payments whatever and all this can be related and used for the models so in our automated pipelines, you need to bring those data sets, define how they are related, and then let the machine work, let the, our pipeline work. It will do the data cleaning, data preparation, automated feature engineering, feature selection, then training of different models. And as the final step, it will provide you the explainable results about what was done and how the predictions are made. So yeah, that's it for this slide. Let's move to the next one, please. Uh, and now some of the key features of the platform that you will see during the demo, but I just want to highlight the main of them. Uh, so first of all, it contains a web application uh, that is for different people, for data scientists, for BAs, for data engineers, for anyone who is interested in, in data and getting some insights and results from the data. We also provide SDK, uh, which can be used by engineers uh, to integrate uh, from their code. Uh, we provide uh, tools for data set management and experiments tracking. Uh, we cover automated experiments of different types. Uh, so at, this is actually as on the previous screen when, when you can run your experiments and you will see that in a moment. And we also do the code generation. So once you get uh, the working model, you can download the code, improve it, use it, deploy it, do whatever you want. Uh, on, on the bottom of the screen, you can see uh, what we have so far. We have automated feature engineering automated machine learning, model deployment, and now our team is working on the new upcoming items like automated time series, which is already is, is in SDK and it's going to be integrated in web app soon. Automated clustering, automate, automated NLP, on automated computer vision, uh, natural language processing API, and many other stuff that is useful for any kind of business. Uh, that's it for this slide. Let's go next one. Yeah, Dim, I believe now it's your turn to tell us more about the SDK. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Vlad, for a great explanation. So uh, the first part of uh, what we'd like to demonstrate is SDK part. Uh, so this is how data scientists can uh, leverage our SDK for doing auto feature engineering, auto machine learning, uh, auto NLP and auto time series. And as you see on the first screenshot, uh, this is how the code looks like. It's pretty straightforward. You uh, 
uh, upload uh, the data, then you relate the data, and then you discover these features. So we started with like around uh, 10 or more lines. Then we did AutoML in the bottom, which uh, is pretty straightforward as well, where you download the data, you set up target and uh, the metric, and then you can get the scores with uh, even less lines of code. And uh, uh, the final, uh, like the latest versions of our SDK and services, uh, they are uh, created with only like uh, three lines where you import, where you create the class and when you, where you fit uh, the data. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use and uh, we are working uh, hard to uh, do this interface uh, the most straightforward uh, for the developers. And uh, let's dive deeper into what we have on the uh, web application part. So basically this is a demo in, uh, uh, demo video i just didn't we just didn't want to run it online but it will be available with the links in the end of presentation so we can also try it but uh, let's take a look uh, here is our uh, home screen page uh, you can see this uh, corn symbol of ours which we really like and it's um, uh, says that it's you know a very friendly and uh, interesting application for not without some t robots for data scientists uh, still created by data art and register we can create the account uh, with the password registered and uh, that's what i'm doing right now and then after we sign in uh, we'll come to the home page so on the home page you can see these different types of experiments uh, which uh, what already mentioned and we can do automated feature engineering for now automated machine learning of model deployment as well and time series clustering and nlp uh, coming soon so if you have relational data sets if you know the target what to predict you can uh, you can do it with uh, you can do it with automated feature engineer related to machine learning you can set up a separate experiment and then uh, do auto ml part and uh, of course after the learning you can deploy your model you can uh, get the code deploying the model uh, or you can use the endpoint we provide and uh, yes yeah, sorry i'm my video is stuck Okay. Mm. Dimo, we still Sorry can hear that. you, so uh, I think it's just kind of technical glitch. Yeah, uh, yeah, with PowerPoint. So anyway, uh, these icons you can see. Uh, the first one is about homepage. The second one is about experiments. The third one is about data sets. So basically, we uh, tracking experiments, we see the metrics, we can do, uh, we can uh, measure the data sets as well. And uh, Vlad, if you could explain this uh, well, and um, we'll open it live, that would be great. Yeah, sure. So uh, now you can see the web app part uh, that I mentioned initially, and uh, it's it's actually done for any kind of users. Uh, it, it's clear and straightforward. Uh, you have this uh, different types of flows, different types of experiments that you can use. And also, um, we are planning to introduce the advanced experiments types. Uh, that's quite the same, but with more fine tuning. Like once you defined your all basic parameters, you can go on and you can make it even better by pulling uh, different uh, buttons and uh, changing different settings uh, yeah so now we are in live right we are on, on our web app yes. right demo Yes, cool. yes. So uh, let me briefly show you what we have in experiments. So it's all working. The video was supposed to make it faster, but anyway, let's do it even faster. Uh, so That's why it's even better, you know, like it, it's not yes, a cartoon, yes. it's a real thing. 
So uh, this is our experiments. We can create the new ones. And this is a pretty straightforward stepper we have where you can select the data sets uh, and uh, upload the data sets, then proceed inside, uh, see what feature types you have. So, uh, Dima, sorry, maybe you should not hurry that, that much. Uh, like, th there's a lot of stuff going on yes. on the screen, so. Uh, okay, well, uh, I will uh, slow down. So anyway, uh, we have uh, these uh, feature types where you can see what we have inside and uh, we can change the types. We can see uh, the unique values. We can see the examples. And uh, anyway, we have the, here two data sets uh, which should be connected by a Sky Dekar. Uh, key uh, because uh, we know mm, something about these data sets before. So clicking next, we will come to target innovation screen where we can set up uh, the relations of these input data sets. This can be done uh, because uh, we want to explore the data. We want to understand uh, which uh, data refers to which target to which data is the most important to predicting the target. So uh, for the main data set, we will select one of these, uh, this is financial problem with predicting the loan default prediction. Uh, we also select the target, the index value. So it's uh, our favorite data sets, to be honest. And uh, then we uh, add this relation where we say, okay, this data set has some information about this index in the second data set. So we are letting the tool to explore what's inside and uh, get the best features and get the best aggregations transformations for predicting that target so we are discovering these features here can be like five data sets uh, seven data sets uh, seven relations etc so we can explore a number of data sets with uh, sql based uh, structure so then uh, we are moving to the configuration. We can run it on small cluster. We can run it on single machine. So uh, usually if we need to run it with medium or large size data sets, we will run on small cluster. But now let's proceed with a single machine. So we have the spinner, which is so it gathers all the data sets with our configurations and it tries to create one flat data set structure which fits best the uh, model, which we will do uh, next. And then when we have popcorn, you will see the um, results page. So we have here data set, which was generated. So across multiple tables, we create only one data set. We have uh, code, which can be also downloaded and it's zipper hive with Python code and configurations of how you can do it fine with pure Python, uh, and that's what was done inside this tool. We have feature importance, we have time, we have different feature types, so it's basically uh, more or less all stuff that data scientists need uh, to start and discover uh, some data or new problem. So we can also proceed to AutoML here, and uh, I already created some machine learning experiment and finished it. Uh, so uh, to save time, uh, we can see the same stepper approach and we can generate, we can again download this data set, we can get the code, we can see a couple more widgets like a batch prediction where we can uh, upload the data and get the predictions. We have the best model selected here, uh, like some models we already tried and again, a couple of plots and reports which are uh, helpful, maybe helpful for data scientists. And again, And we can deploy uh, the deployment, we'll write the demo mode, um, select the input output types. For now it's only one available and click deploy. So in just one uh, line of uh, name and uh, one click, uh, we'll create the link. And uh, here uh, the model will be available for uh, inference. We also have the code and we have the test API, which currently is mocked but will be available soon to test the model with data already uploaded. So here's our 
sequence of steps and we can see um, the results of it. We can see the data sets and size and can see inside the metrics. So we track all of experiments and uh, we find this tool really helpful and import important for uh, discovery uh, processes. So let me share part of the presentation where we outline the features uh what we have right now yeah and I, actually in this case just for demo we ran on really small data sets only two data sets to just save time because feature engineering is quite performance heavy stuff and machine learning as well uh, but you can imagine like if you take five data sets that are cross-related and they are pretty huge with thousands of records in each one uh, and like hundreds of features in each one, it means that our algorithm will, will allow you to get uh, the best features out of them, which actually takes a lot of time if it's done manually. And same is for AutoML. So, so Dima just showed you the results, the result page when it's all clear, then you have this model is best, this one is second, but actually under the hood behind the scene, it tries up to 10 models, I guess, at this point, and it's not and it's not even all of what we have. So we are planning to extend that and planning to use even more uh, models and optimizers. And it also saves lots of time. So I just wanted to kind of explain what was behind the scenes of this uh, light and easy to understand UI. Yeah. Uh, thank you a lot. And uh, I just wanted to outline uh, key business advantages, uh, which we can see. So it's really advanced starting point for any data science team. We have web application, uh, we have SDK, and uh, we see that uh, during our POCs uh, and uh, initial phases like discovery phase, uh, we uh, save up to four times uh, compared to average development time. Uh, it's a great start and we get the first results in one or two days then we improve and we got to uh, really great uh, results in one one or two weeks we can deploy the model in one click as you saw it's uh, really straightforward uh, and we have everything in one place so you when you start the project you can see all experiments all data sets etc and we are really focused on the business metric so our main goal is not to do the best uh, raw KFC, but to understand and increase the main business metric uh, where we, how we can do it better for business and apply the best models for business. So uh, I would like also to share one use case we did for a client uh, from insurance and retail. Uh, this is pretty straight data scientist, and this is the slide from the sales deck. Uh, I'm sorry for a long text. But the main idea here is that the uh, retail company were sending their product description insurance and uh, they were labeling the product descriptions uh, by category. So this is like really straightforward uh, machine learning uh, task like uh, text multi-class classification. So you just need to see the text and understand whether it's laptop, computer or smartphone a lot of times uh, similar models and what we did with AutoML so we achieved 92 percent accuracy and in just one week we come from data to the real model which can be used in uh, in like production environment and the codes actually for, for the model was 75 percent generated by our platform and 25 percent was written on top of, of uh, this uh, code with machine learning expert to do the data cleaning and uh, do some uh, graphs and reports. But overall, from idea to uh, final results week, uh, and in this time, we prepared even two models, uh, one more for regression, which uh, client even uh, didn't think thought about. So we have a lot, uh, couple, a lot of more use cases in uh, healthcare, uh, finance as well, uh, because this technology is uh, domain agnostic. It's horizontal technology, as we as we say, and uh, really we can recommend how to automate our data science routine. So you need to 
at first clearly understand the business needs. So why you're doing it, what you're doing, and how machine learning can help if it can help. You have to establish the great process to do the discovery. So it's something that's really important when you do machine learning problems one, two, three, uh, ten times. So it's really important for organization and data scientists as well. Uh, we recommend using HTML solutions. Uh, uh, they, there are a lot of them in clouds. Uh, it's not about like using our platform. Uh, and that's it. It's about uh, trying to use it to play with it and see uh, how it can lever how you can leverage the solutions uh, on your problems. Uh, prepare some functions or prototypes to scale faster. So if you know that you work with text, just create some SDK, which may help you to do the next problems faster. Uh, keep track of your experiments and data sets. It's really important as well, uh, because uh, as we say, uh, the project starts, you have a lot of experiments, you have different data sets, and somehow uh, to achieve the best, how the best score is achieved is not remembered by any of teammates. So it's very important. Uh, storing the data sets in easily accessible ways is as well. Uh, the path towards automation of the routine and uh, get iteratively from the business and adjust your work. So ask the business whether we are going in the right direction and uh, do the proper tuning of the pipeline and your directions as well. So uh, thank you very much for hearing us out and uh, we are happy to answer your questions. Uh, we have the email if you want to reach us out and if you want, you can uh, scan this QR code. Uh, we have the mine and what's uh, linked in there, uh, data arts information and a small research where you can find the link to the platform, download the demo data sets and then submit the feedback if you want. So it's available right now in public. So feel free to try it out and share your feedback with us. We we'll really appreciate and uh, it will help us to improve the platform. Thank you very much.